Hi, my name is Chris and this is my LaCroix LC584AL and I will be creating signals with that. Um, with my 33120 uh, HP, I currently have it set at a uh, 1 megahertz square wave. Anything higher kind of looks funky because uh, it's not really exactly the most advanced function generator, but I want to uh, demonstrate what the LaCroix can do. So, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it set up. plug this into channel number one and uh, I'll turn on channel number one and uh, I'm go ahead and uh, set up a trigger on it channel number one trigger and go ahead and uh, zoom it in and out and also go ahead and apply different uh, math functions like I'm doing a fast Fourier uh, transformation on this on channel A and on channel B I'm going to go ahead and define uh, channel B as zoom trace of A okay that's fine so I'll turn channel B on and turn channel A off and turn channel 1 off and uh, that's showing amplitude um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, change this over to channel number 2 and uh, set up the trigger on that and uh, set up channel C to be just a normal zoom of that. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Channel number two. <laughs> okay. I turn off channel number two and I can... It's got a ton of memory. And it's uh, got two mega, mega points per channel. Um, you could really get in there. So. So it's pretty, uh, pretty stinking powerful. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Go to channel number three. And set up the trigger on, um, actually. It, uh, demonstrate the trigger on this. I'll do that next. Uh, definition is excellent on this thing. Demonstrate channel number four. Um, set up the trigger on it. Trigger on four. Okay, trigger level. To an acceptable place. Um, 
this thing can really uh, get into it if you want. It'll go, uh, oh, it'll demonstrate the external trigger as well. And I'll have to keep on switching around all the time. And, uh, I mean, just on this, you can, without any kind of zoom functions, you can go to 0.2 nanoseconds and say I use D and I'm going to do D as 4 Oops. and uh, I want to really zoom on, up on that thing with D. I can go to 50 picoseconds, so uh, more than most people ever need. Um, Kind of like uh, reminds you of uh, Tektronix's uh, time delay function. You can see the portion of the zoom that you know, that you're viewing here. The colors change a little bit, and as you can see, I'm at <laughs> one nanosecond. I'm just looking at that sliver, and I'm crawling through the waveform. But I could also uh, Increase the zoom over there. But as you can see, I can go to 50 picoseconds on this here, so it's uh, pretty impressive. I can kind of probably reach the limit of uh, the zoom on here, but it's pretty impressive. Um, it's got a whole uh, load of math functions. Oh, and uh, for math use, I mean, you can have tons of points here. I mean, that's it's just insane. Um, but if we redefine this and use it as math, and um, here's the different kinds of stuff you have. Look at just how many different kinds of fast Fourier transformations. kind of speaks for itself. Um, you can actually full screen everything as well. So uh, that's pretty cool. You can also bust out the standard uh, cursors here. Um, you can use different measuring parameters and you can use statistics and you can find uh, custom ones too and uh, the amount of parameters you can define are just crazy especially when you look at all <laughs> it's uh, quite a crazy amount of things you can define here, so, uh, you can have put it on different lines, um, it's pretty impressive. show status. Here's the uh, different information on it. I'm sure everybody wants to see it. The soft options are WP01, WP02, WP03, CKIO. And the hard options are CPPVGAC, CLBZ, FD01, CENT, and ICE uh, S squared C. Um, it's got uh, uh, two mega point, uh, two mega uh, megabytes of uh, points uh, per uh, channel, 64 
um, uh, megabytes and uh, of memory, and it has uh, eight giga samples. This is just uh, a little too much scope for me. I just a little uh, overwhelmed, and I just uh, <laughs> tend to use my uh, little agilent more. So um, yeah, and as far as I know, um, everything works just fine on it and um, I haven't tested the floppy drive because uh, uh, I don't own any floppies and I haven't tested the uh, uh, PCMCIA because I don't know what I'd use it for and I don't have a GPIB port or and I haven't used any serial stuff because I don't know what you actually integrate with this thing. Um, oh, well, I haven't tried um, using Cal with it, but I guess I could uh, try to use the Cal. <laughs> uh, it's going to be here somewhere. I'll set up now. Hmm. i and see how it's first of all. I'm go over like this. Um, set a trigger to one. Um, I'll be. Does a prettier square wave than my actual function generator at 2 megahertz. <laughs> Shame on you, HP. My 2 megahertz HP, which I'm just going to do right now. That's horrible. Let's compare this 2 megahertz with uh, channel number 4's version of what 2 megahertz is. Uh, oh boy. Um, Yeah. So it's kinda kinda ugly. Uh I guess all the channels will work at the same time if we start doing stuff to it. Uh, it thinks slow down the update speed so now the fourth channel doesn't look as crazy, but everything works. So, um, yeah, this is my review of my LaCroix. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>